Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedboarding video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building a house in the world of Strangerville which is the world that we got with the game pack The Sims 4 Strangerville and I'm going to be building a family Victorian home. So this house has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. I designed the rooms to be for a set of parents, a teenager and then a child and then with the bathrooms there is two upstairs and then one downstairs which kind of doubles up to be like a laundry room or utility room and then as well as that there is also a home office, a kitchen, a dining room and a lounge room looks pretty normal from the outside like if you're just someone visiting the house you know they're having their mates around for tea or whatever the family that's going to be living here it seems pretty normal but it's actually not because there's actually hidden details about this house which i'm so excited for so i did actually build this house for a household that's going to be in my safe hole so i do actually have quite an in-depth storyline for the household that are going to be living here so if anyone's ever played it through stranger build like the aspiration you try to complete the mystery you'll be familiar with having to go and find scientists ask them questions you know why is this guy a funny color find some people in the military ask them a bunch of questions as well and i really wanted to design a family that may or may not have something to do with actually what's going on in strangerville so this house as well as obviously the old like the stereotypical house stuff there is a secret bunker downstairs in the basement as well as a science lab so i actually created like this little hidden staircase in the back garden which you'll see in a little while and it leads down to some stairs and then you go down some more the, the basement is quite deep there's multiple levels to it but you go down some stairs eventually you'll get to this huge secret science lab and it's got all the sciencey kind of stuff and strange really kind of stuff to do with it in the science lab and then you go down a little set of ladders and you've actually got a secret bunker now as well as strangerville if you've ever loaded a new save of strangerville and you just load it into the world the people that are walking around the sims that are walking around they got some weird facial expressions going on i personally i'm not a massive fan of it because it actually quite frankly scares me because the way that the sims faces kind of go when they're possessed by this thing in strangerville it just is quite daunting if I'm being honest with you but I was thinking if kind of no one manages to solve the mystery this house are, they're prepared they've got a secret bunker in the basement if worse comes to worse and you know something it's a fan then they can go downstairs into the bunker and they've got enough resources to last them for however long they're going to be down there there is some bunk beds down there there is a mini kitchen there is a mini bathroom and there is also a little tv area and i actually used one of the debug tvs that we got from i believe it was eco lifestyle one of the ones that your sims can kind of find in the garbage bins it's a debug menu item and it's got all these different like aerials and satellite dishes kind of coming off a tv so it looks like it would actually work quite far underground whereas to me in my head a flat screen TV wouldn't work that well down there because it probably wouldn't get signal. And I kind of wanted to give the idea off that your Sims would kind of sit in front of the TV and, you know, listen out for the news to find out what's going on in Strangerville where they're so deep underground in this bunker. There's just so many little hidden details in this house and there's so many things that kind of make it make sense in my head anyway for the family that's going to be living here in my save. But yeah, one of the parents is going to be a scientist in the science career that we got from Get to Work. And then the other parent I was thinking was actually going to be a gardener, which is going to be a botanist. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I say like I haven't just looked up the pronunciation for that. But you know, has anyone ever seen the film The Marsh? and you know what's his name mark is it zuckerberg no that's not a great face but that's definitely not mark zuckerberg what's his name it's not mark zuckerberg he ain't got anything to do with you know science and plants actually he might have i don't know what he does in his spare time but it's matt damon that plays the actor in the film but in my defense his name is mark watney in the martian if anyone's never seen that film i would highly recommend it it's such a good film and it's one of them films that you've got like really good replay value for you can just watch it a million times and it will still be as good as the first this is completely irrelevant but imagine one of the parents to be a botanist and you know does all these things with plants and vegetables and herbs and stuff and then i was thinking that maybe because they're quite sciencey careers both of them well, one of them is literally a scientist and then the botanist is kind of like science with plants i was thinking that maybe they met when they was at university or whatnot and then they've just kind of gone at different ways within the science career i kind of like that idea but i also have the feeling in my head that the, this family used to live in Brunson Bay. Now, don't ask me why, because when I was building this, I just had the idea that maybe they used to live in Brunson Bay and, you know, something came up, a new job came up and the family actually had to move from that world into Strangerville. And since then, the scientist sim has kind of gone 
a little bit bad, like a little bit of a bad sim to be around because maybe they got this massive promotion to become a scientist in Strangerville and then since then it, they've just been not the best sim to be around. Like you don't want you don't want to get on the bad side of that sim. And I feel like the gardener sim, I'm gonna to refer to them as science sim and gardener sim because I feel like that's easier. But I feel like the gardener sim really don't know who they're sleeping next to of a night time because the sim's completely changed. And maybe it there's a lot of like tension in the relationship and maybe the family are going through a rough patch. I just really like this idea for gameplay and I feel like that's such a good storyline as well to play through and yeah, that's kind of like the idea for both the parents. We've got a scientist and then we've got a botanist. <laughs> it's not Mark Zuckerberg. And then we've also got the teenager and then a child. Now with a teenager, I was thinking that the teenagers actually got the Strangerville aspiration to complete, to find out what's actually going on. But they don't actually know that one of their parents actually has a massive part to play in it. And I feel like, again, that would be a really good storyline to kind of play through and just kind of develop maybe some bad relationships maybe there's going to be a massive fallout in the family who knows i'm just very excited for this family i'm very excited to actually go in and actually create them and give them all their different skills and traits and whatnot and maybe try and get some sentiments i think that's how you pronounce it you know them things that you can get with i believe it's snowy escapes so you can either have like a close bond with someone or like a negative feeling towards someone for something i feel like there might be a few of the bad ones chucked about in this household and then with a the child I kind of had the idea in my head that one day they want to grow up and they want to become an astronaut and so I designed their room to have a lot of space related items I basically went through the building by and tried to find everything that was space related whether it has rockets on it or planets or whatnot I basically tried to put into their room to make it seem like they love space and you know one day they do want to become an astronaut I was also thinking that they really look up to their parent as a scientist but then I was also thinking that the teenager might have found out a little bit of information since moving to Strangerville as their aspiration is the Strangerville mystery and maybe they're trying to convince the kid you know this parent ain't as good as what you think they are and so maybe you don't look up to him as much and the kid's just not having it the kid just wants to be an astronaut <laughs> but that is just kind of like the storyline for the household that I've got to live here in my save file now it goes without saying if you do want to download this house to the gallery and maybe you've got a different idea for a family in mind that you want to live here then you can change it in any way shape or form if you want to you can get rid of the science lab and the bunker completely I feel like that'll be quite an easy job to do as well because the basement the entry to the basement is in the garden and it's kind of hidden in the landscaping so it's not actually on the inside of the house so I feel like if you wanted to delete the secret lab and delete the bunker then it'll be a very easy job you don't have to it's completely up to you once you download the house but Anyway, moving on from that and actually talking about a little bit more about the building process and what I'm doing right now. So before I forget, I do want to mention that I was actually looking at a picture on Pinterest when I was building this. Whenever I do look at a picture, whether it's just be for inspiration or whether I'm trying to replicate something in the game, I always like to mention it just so you know, you know, like I didn't just build this out of my head. But currently I'm just going around in the back garden and I've started furnishing it. So in the back garden, we have a little barbecue area where your Sims can have like summer cookouts and maybe have some big family barbecues and maybe their relatives from Brimstone Bay, which they left behind, come and visit in the summer. There is also a flower arranging table, which I've just placed down now. And I'm actually going to move objects, some kind of like packets of seeds on top of it. I seem to always do this recently in my builds. I always seem to move objects and stuff onto the flower arranging table because recently to me, it just looks a little bit bare. And so I actually just used the red shelf and I was able to move up some seed packets to make it look like maybe there's some seeds that are going to be used to maybe plant some herbs or vegetables, or maybe there's some flower seeds that are going to be planted and then your sims can make flower arrangements from them. And there is also some planters as well in this back garden. I use the ones from Outdoor Retreat. I never seem to use the actual ones that are in the building by normal catalogue. The ones that I've used are actually debug menu items. I believe off memory your sims can actually craft these and I just feel like they look a little bit nicer than the ones that we've actually got available to us in the normal build and buy. I talk about this quite a lot, but I have actually got a mod installed into my game which gives me access to the debug menu and the live edit menu in my normal build and buy. You might be able to see them at certain points during the video. I kind of filter the debug menu on as well as the live edit menu and then I can just instantly turn them off. It's from the mod that I've got installed into my game. It is an absolute lifesaver cannot build without it and it's always linked in the description box down below of all of my videos same with the red shelf as well if you're curious where the red shelf is from 
is also linked in the description box down below but I literally cannot build without debug menu and live edit menu I'm pretty sure the ivy that I've just placed around these planters I'm pretty sure they're from the live edit menu they're just all the stuff is just so nice and I just love it all so much but anyway as well in this back garden we have a little toddler paddling pool and then we also have the little washing like laundry line where your sims can hang their clothes out to dry in the summertime now even though there's not a toddler in this household with that little paddling pool other sims can still go in it and interact with it so your sims can actually lounge in there now something that I'm doing for my safe file with certain worlds which I feel like wouldn't have a swimming pool in I'm not including a swimming pool in any of the back gardens and Strangerville is one of them. So far I haven't included any swimming pools into the back gardens of any of the houses in this world. Just to me it just doesn't make sense even though this world is very hot in the summer. I just feel like it would, It just doesn't make sense in my mind and so I felt like if your sims did want to you know maybe go for a little dip in the pool but they haven't got a pool why not have a toddler paddling pool but anyway moving on from that as you can see I've actually now moved onto the inside of this house and I've started off by furnishing the lounge room so in here I wanted the inside to be quite Victorian -y because it is a Victorian house now I had it in my mind that the family actually recently moved here and it was kind of like an old rundown house and they're kind of in the process of renovating it. I feel like they've done the majority of the rooms. They want to do like some small little details here and there but for the most part the house is freshly decorated. I kind of had the idea in my head that maybe this house was in a fire once upon a time and it was abandoned for years and then the family moved in once the job offer came up for the scientist parent and you know they've restored it and maybe they want to do a few extra little things here and there. One of them being removed one of the fireplaces upstairs you'll see what I'm talking about when we actually move on to the upstairs but yeah I wanted it to be quite traditional looking but not overly traditional because a traditional style to me it's just not my personal preference of style it's not the particular style that I like to build in a lot but I tried to implement little bits of traditional here and there and so hopefully hopefully you get what I mean but currently I'm just focusing on the dining room in the dining room I use the Discover University chairs as well as actually in the lounge room the sofa the three-seater one is from Discover University and then the two-seater one is from paranormal stuff unfortunately the three-seater sofa doesn't come in a two-seater sofa which pains my heart because it was the most perfect sofa for this house and so I actually found the paranormal stuff one just kind of worked perfectly for it it's got quite a similar swatch and I feel like it looks like it could be part of the same kind of like sofa collection if you want but currently I've just moved on I've actually started furnishing at the kitchen so in the kitchen I went for again quite a traditional look I love the oven that I placed in the middle the oven is from the country kitchen kit always a mouthful whenever I say that kit's name but it's from the country kitchen kit stuff it's a kit but it's you know it, this it's from that kit as well as the fridge as well actually now with the fridge i've actually always referred to the fridge as a smeg fridge because to me as soon as we got this pack or this kit i i just looked at it and i thought that really looks like a smeg fridge to me and so in my head i've always called this particular fridge a smeg fridge but we've got the sims 4 cottage living expansion pack coming out later on this month and i'm pretty sure one of the fridges that are actually in the build and buy menu some of the new furniture i'm pretty sure the fridge is actually based off a smeg fridge so i can no longer refer to this fridge as a smeg fridge because we've basically got one in the game now which by the way this is actually the first time that i've mentioned anything about the new cottage living expansion pack within this voiceover and it was on purpose so i'm sure everyone is aware but if you wasn't Yesterday there was actually a Maxis live stream where I'm assuming that they kind of gave a general overview for the pack. They probably showed some gameplay and build and buy and cast. I say assume because I haven't watched it. But as well as that, there was an embargo lifted for EA Game Changes that actually had early access to the pack. And you can now go and watch people like do builds with the new content and show off the build and buy and the cast items and the gameplay. Now I purposely haven't mentioned anything about the new expansion pack in this voiceover just because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Now I am someone that whenever a new pack comes out, whether it be expansion pack or game pack or whatever it is, I try not to look at the new content that's available early on because normally there's you know like live streams and there's videos and whatnot that come out showing early access and I'm someone that likes to experience that for myself and I know a lot of other people do as well so I purposely haven't mentioned anything about it apart from the fridge actually but in my defense the fridge was in the trailer so if you watch the trailer a lot you would have noticed the fridge but apart from that I don't want to talk much about the new cottage living expansion pack purely because of the fact of if you're like me and you don't want to get spoiled and you want to experience it yourself, I don't want to, you know, like, spoil it for you. And so, purposely haven't mentioned it for that fact. But I, it is very tempting, I will say that. It is very tempting. There's a lot of videos that I've saved to my watch later. So once I've actually got access to the pack myself, once it comes out, then I can just go and binge through so many different videos and builds and let's plays and 
I'm very excited, but we've only got, I think, two more weeks until everyone has access to it. So it's very exciting. But yeah, just thought I'd mention that there is a reason why I have purposely not mentioned anything about the pack. And it's just because I didn't want to spoil it for any of you. And I mean, I also don't know because, again, I haven't even watched it myself. I'm trying to save it for myself. So I know as much as the next person that has seen a few Simguru tweets on Twitter and has watched the trailer. Apart from that, I pretty much know in my heart, though, that this is probably going to be one of my most favourite expansion packs. And I cannot wait for July 22nd. It's going to be a very good day. But anyway... Moving on from that and actually talking about a little bit more about the builds, as you would have seen, I did actually just do the office downstairs. In there we have a computer, a desk and a bookcase, just kind of like a standard office. There's a few different like prints that are kind of like scientific-y on the wall, that's a very good description, but there's a few prints that I feel like could be related to the science career. They're kind of like designs for something or maybe they're a designer for a robot or whatever and now I have actually just moved on and furnished in one of the bedrooms and now I did just quickly do the bathroom now there is three bathrooms in this house like I've mentioned I only ever show the furnishing for one because it's too repetitive but the bathroom that I showed is actually the one that's got a fireplace in now you know when I said that maybe this house burnt down in a fire and the family kind of like restored it maybe that fireplace is where the fire started from I've just only thought of this idea but maybe that's where it started from and then since then they've just kind of taking out the actual fire pit, I don't know if that's what it's called, you know where you put the coal and the logs in to burn? Maybe they've taken that out and just kind of left the fireplace structure. It's not a usable working fireplace, but it's kind of like the idea that once upon a time there was a fireplace there. I really like little realistic details and in a lot of old houses as well there is a lot of fireplaces and a lot of the time they don't even work so I thought it would just be a nice little touch to add it into the bathroom because there is an exterior chimney and I always like to try and put fireplaces by the chimney and so if you ever see a picture of a house that I've built and it's got a chimney or two chimneys know that there's always a fireplace in the house or multiple fireplaces in the house but Anyway, moving on from that, as you can see, I've actually now moved on. I've actually started furnishing one of the bedrooms. So this bedroom is for the kids. So as you can see, I tried to get as much space kind of related stuff that I could possible. So I've got a couple of posters. There is one particular poster, which is from Discover University. And it's got two different swatches of kind of like space related rockets and planets. So, and so I placed them down. There was this little board which came from Parenthood that looks like the kid has drawn like astronauts and stars and the sun and stuff so I also placed that down i basically just went through the menu off camera and you know just tried to find everything that i could that was related to space and put it into that room but now i have actually moved on into the teenager's bedroom by the way i do want to mention if you are curious as always i have play tested this whole entire house i'm only mentioning it because it does look like the void crotter machine which i've actually placed in the middle of that bedroom doesn't work but I actually play tested it with a child and it works absolutely fine. But I thought I'd mention it because it does look quite a snug little fit. But regardless, the whole house works. It's all been play tested. But anyway, now I've actually moved on into the teenager's bedroom. So this is the teenager that I imagine would have the Strangerville aspiration. They want to find out what's happening in Strangerville. I feel like this sim is quite a quiet sim. You know, like in school, I feel like this sim would be a sim that kind of keeps themselves to themselves. Maybe they like to go out with their friends on the weekend, you know just kind of like a normal kind of standard sim put it that way maybe they like reading who knows you can kind of develop that personality if you do decide to download this house and you want to create a family that goes along with it but in here i did just use the seasons single bed now i really wanted to place a double bed but just the way that these two bedrooms like kind of planned out both this room and the kids room they're both the exact same size if i were to place a double bed there would have been no other furniture in this room it's just way too small and it would have just had a lot of routine issues of your sims getting around and i decided to opt for a single bed which i normally don't do i try and normally put double beds in every teenager's rooms just because i feel like if you've got a teenager and maybe they've got a partner or whatever and they want to have a sleepover with their mates i just always feel like a double bed in a teenager's room kind of fits not every single teenager has a double bed but a lot of the time in my bills, I do just like to include them. But unfortunately, if I would have included a double bed in that room, it literally would have been a room with a bed in and basically nothing else. And so I decided to opt for more activities to do in that room for more gameplay. There is a desk area with a laptop. There is also a mirror, a chest of drawers. I also actually included the digital drawing tablet so your sims can you know like do paintings and stuff just on the tablet maybe there's a possibility when the sim grows up and after they've solved the strangerville mystery that they wanted to be an artist or like a graphic designer or something in the freelance trade i feel like that would be a really good gameplay idea 
but then you did just say me do the parents bedroom so in the parents bedroom i place down the discover university bed and then a base game chest of drawers and then a mirror and then a plant in the corner parents bedrooms are quite difficult to furnish a lot of the time because i always feel like i need to go neutral with parents bedrooms because you've got two sims they might have like one might like red and green the other one might like blue and purple and so i feel like quite a neutral room is probably best for parents but then i just did the upstairs landing or hallway i don't know why i just called it landing i never refer to it as a landing does anyone else refer to your upstairs hallway as a landing or is it just me and my family but i just did the upstairs hallway up there we have a little armchair area where your sims can sit down possibly read a book and then we also have a little chess table as well just to give your sims a little bit more things to do in this house but now as you can see i've actually now moved on into the basement level so as you can see i'm just going around and just kind of figuring out the actual structure for the basement because originally i was going to have it just be the science lab but then as i was going further into the building i was decorating all the rooms and the story was kind of like developing in my mind i've really just came to the idea of why don't i just include a bunker as well but i didn't want the bunker to be on the same level as a science lab i wanted the bunker to look like it was a very old bunker it was deep into the ground and you have to really go down quite far to get to it i think in total you have to go down three sets of stairs or two sets of stairs and a ladder either way it's three levels down into the ground so it's definitely buried deep within under the house but maybe it's a victorian house a lot of victorian houses also have basements maybe the basement used to be a utility room or a laundry room or maybe there used to be like a wine cellar down here but then since his family have moved in they've obviously just changed it to be what they want it to be and now there's a secret science lab down here maybe actually i just thought of this maybe the one of the parents that's a gardener the kid and the teenager don't actually know this is down there maybe they have absolutely no idea there's a basement in this house at all who knows maybe when you know something it's the fan and they have to go into the bunker that's when the scientist is like right actually i've got something to tell you there's actually a secret bunker down below the house good idea for gameplay I, <laughs> but anyway moving on from that as you can see this is the science sub so in here there's a lot of decorative items which some of them are from get to work and then some of them are from stranger bill i actually placed down this kind of I don't even know what it's called. It's basically like a tub and it's got water in it. And you can see that I've just actually moved objects a servo into it, which is actually a robot that we got from Discover University. Now robots and water or any form of electricity and water don't go well together. They don't mix. But I really wanted it to look like there was something in that tub that they were experimenting on and they were doing all these different kind of experiments and testing all these different things. And so the best thing that I could find in the debug menu for like a life size thing was a servo but also in that room there is a lot of decorative stuff but then there is also a lot of usable things as well so you have the massive kind of like mechanic station i don't know what you class it as but it's where your sims can make like the freeze ray and whatnot and there is also a satellite dish in there then there is also the chemical analyzer i believe it's called the chemistry lab and then there is also a little computer area as well. And there is also a shower. It's one of the showers, what looks like after your sim has done a load of experiments, they'll go in the shower to rinse off any like bacteria or whatever. But now I have actually moved on into the bunker down here. So in here we have two of the bunk beds. Each has two beds in, so in total it is four beds. And then we have a little TV that I was talking about earlier on. I just feel like it fits in. I feel like this TV would work down here. Then there is also a miniature kitchen and then also a small little bathroom basically if strangerville never recovers and it's always going to be in a bad state then your sims are going to be safe down here in the basement but anyway guys i have actually reached the end of this voiceover so as always you can download this build via the gallery my origin id is jessica pi or you can just search for the hashtag jessica pi yt or just the hashtag jessica pi as always thank you guys so much for watching and as always if you do like my content then please do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next sims 4 speedboarding video bye guys mm -hmm.